BTC, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, BNB, XRP to Polkadot. All coins bleed. Here is the latest news of the crypto crash recently in the market. All coins from BTC to Ethereum, to Solana to Cardano, to BNB to XRP to Polkadot bleed. The worldwide crypto market cap has fallen to $1.10 trillion, a drop of more than 8% as of June 12th. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Cryptology, where we bring you the most recent news about BTC, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, BNB, and XRP to Polkadot. All coins are bleeding. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. And let's begin! The latest news on the crypto crash. Cryptocurrency markets have dropped to $1.10 trillion, a drop of more than 8% on June 12. Almost all of the most popular cryptocurrencies were in the red, according to data from CoinMarketCap. A 6.29% dip in the price of Bitcoin has occurred to $27,454. As a result, the market for all cryptos has climbed by about 1% to 47.66%, which is fantastic news for Bitcoin investors. The price of Bitcoin dropped 7.71% in mid-June. The overall cryptocurrency market volume climbed by 26.51% to $84.33 billion, which indicates that investors are selling their crypto holdings. At $6.74 billion, DeFi's 24-hour volume is equivalent to 7.99% of the total crypto market volume. On the daily basis, the entire market value of stablecoins was $72.33 billion. What are the top cryptocurrency prices of June 12? At $1,460, the price of Ethereum is down 12.58% from a high of $2,050. The price of ETH dropped 18.58% in mid-June. Binance Chain's price fell 11.07% to $256.83, a new 24-hour low for digital currency. The BNB price has fallen by 13.75%. Price reductions for Polkadot and Avalanche total 12.85% and 17.72% respectively. DOT and AVAX are the 11th and 16th most valuable cryptocurrencies respectively on coin market cap right now. The Polygon price fell 14% to 0.5175 according to coin market cap. It's now ranked 18th. Meanwhile, the price of Tron or TRX has dropped by 6.05% to 0.07499 cents. On June 16th, the top cryptocurrencies like Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, Dogecoin, TRX, and AVEX rise again. After falling below $900 billion, the market value of all cryptocurrencies rose by 3.04% on June 16th. According to the data on CoinMarketCap, the total value of the crypto market was $958 billion, and the volume of the crypto market around the world was $127 billion, which was a 28% increase. After the U.S. Federal Reserve said it would raise interest rates, the prices of top cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum started to go up again, even though the market sentiment is still in the extreme fear zone. Coin market cap shows that Bitcoin's share of the market has dropped to 44.5%. On June 15th, when the Federal Reserve raised interest rates by 75 basis points, which is the most in 30 years, most cryptocurrencies went up. Bitcoin and Ethereum both went up by almost 3% and 2% from the day before. BTC has lost 53% of its value since the start of the year, and it has lost 69% of its value since its all-time high of $68,990. This week, cryptocurrency prices went down because Celsius stopped withdrawals and transfers between accounts. This made people worry that the problem could spread to other markets. If the recent price and price stay steady, it could help the market recover from its recent losses, says Edel Patel, co-founder and CEO of the cryptocurrency investment platform, Murex. At the time of making this video, most of the top cryptocurrencies were in the green, with Solana, BNB, Cardano, XRP, and Polkadot gaining the most among blue chip coins. As of mid-June, the price of Bitcoin had dropped by 26%, but it had risen by about 3% on June 15th to $22,317. The price of Ethereum's gone up by almost 2% to $1,209. The price of ETH has dropped by 33% in the past week, and in terms of market cap, it's the second largest crypto asset 
right now. The price of a Binance chain coin went up by about 6% to $230. In the past week, the price of Binance BNB has dropped by 20%. In terms of market cap, it's currently the fifth largest crypto asset. The price of an XRP coin went up by 6% to $0.3364. In the past week, the price of XRP has gone down by 16% and it is the eighth largest cryptocurrency by market cap right now. The price of Solana went up by about 19% to $34.21. In the past week, the price of Sol has gone down by 12%, and in terms of market cap, it is currently the ninth largest crypto asset. The price of Cardano token fell by 12% to $0.5203. In the past week, the price of ADA has dropped by 19%, and in market cap, it's currently the seventh largest crypto asset. The popular meme coin in the past week, Dogecoin, has gone up by 11%. As of now, Doge has the 11th largest market cap, and as of the time of this video being made, a Doge was worth $0.06208. The price of Polkadot went up by 11% to $8.26, and the price of Avalanche went up by 11% to $17.73. As of now, DOT is ranked 10th, and AVAX is ranked 15th on coin market cap. And in the last 24 hours, the price of Polygon went up by about 5% to $0.4068. It's ranked 18th on coin market cap right now. The price of Tron has gone up by about 19%. It's now at $0.06445. On coin market cap, it's ranked 13th right now. So what's the current update on Bitcoin and Ethereum? Bitcoin's value might rise by 10% as Ethereum flirts with $1,200, and here I'll tell you why. As of today, it's been said before that the rise of the U.S. dollar is one of the main things that makes people want to sell Bitcoin. This is because the negative relation between the two assets is still very high, but this could change soon. The strong U.S. dollar is pushing Ethereum down. We'll see why. The value of the currency was pushed higher than the market would have thought as a result of the impact of the most recent rate hike, as well as the overall hawkishness of the Federal Reserve. As a result of the continued weakness of the euro, the U.S. dollar has emerged as one of the most powerful currencies in the world, which has put pressure on stocks and digital assets. According to a divergence in the Relative Strength Index and a cutoff between FOMC meetings, the 3% gain on DXY, which is high enough, given the index's volatility, could come to an end. This would be high enough considering the index's volatility. Ethereum's getting ready for the surge before any other cryptocurrency. Some cryptos are already flirting with local resistance levels, and they aren't even waiting for the U.S. dollar to fall off the rails like everyone else. For instance, despite the continued pressure it's being exerted on the market for digital assets, Ethereum's been able to successfully reach the local resistance of $1,200. We have previously reported on how Ethereum is preparing for the fourth test of the forthcoming technical opposition that it's been unable to break over for the past few months. The decreasing volume of the existing downward trend is one of the primary reasons why an immediate breakthrough appears to be on the horizon. At the discount of Grayscale's Ethereum fund declined dramatically, it is clear that investors see Ethereum as an undervalued asset that has the potential to offer a greater return in the future in comparison to Bitcoin. This is demonstrated by the fact that institutions are also actively supporting Ethereum. And that's it for today's video. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you see more incredible videos. Hey, thanks for watching, and have a